10 frames of the particles just sitting there glowing, you know, quite happily and spelling out the word this is. You then have the particles explode outwards. If we wanted to, we could uh, change the birth to be from 0 to 10, and then our, our, our letters would fade in. So it would fade in and say this is. Um, and then when they'd faded in completely on frame 10, they'd be sent on to the next event. So we go on to the next event, and in this event, this is called Glow Build Up to Explosion. And you can see that we're using a different material here. We're using Glow Up. So as we saw earlier, this is Glow Up, and we saw that it started off with a, a bright material, which got even brighter. So this is a kind of uh, build up of energy that we've given our particles before they explode outwards. You can see that uh, when we go into this event, we uh, spawn our particles, and um, we do it once, and we just um, have an offspring of one. And that's just to give our particles, um, just to reset their age, basically. Um, and then after an age of six, uh, we, we would delete our particles. But they, would never, they never actually get to that, because by uh, an event age of five, they're actually sent on to um, a new event. Now, what's actually happening here as well is that we're deleting by particle age, and we're sending on by event age. And um, that basically means that particles which um, have been in this event for, for more than five frames would be sent onwards. But particles which have an age of six are killed immediately. And that would actually include all the particles which, which, which would spawn here when they come into the event. So basically, the particles come in and they spawn once. That resets their age. Um, and then they're killed off by this operator here. All the other particles, in other words, the ones which have just been spawned, which have an age of zero, they then get sent on to the next event. So they go through the wire, and they go down into um, explode particles outwards. So if we just step through this, um, I'll step through it frame by frame. You can see nothing really happens with our particles. Then on frame 10, they go into the next event, and you can see that um, if I change off, if I turn off, um, change down the display to dots, there you go, it's a, a little less uh, intrusive. Um, at this point, the original particles um, disappear. So you can see you've got 4,000 particles here, goes into here and you've still got 4,000, and that's after a spawn. And that's because, as I said, the, the original particles uh, generate one new particle, so you've got 8,000 particles, but immediately the first 4,000 particles are, are deleted because of their age. They're, they're more than six uh, frames old in terms of particle age. So after an event age of five, which would be, uh, which would give us a total age of 15, if we skip onwards five frames, you can see on frame 16, the particles then get sent on to the next event. And this is where they actually explode outwards. And uh, the effect actually gets quite slow to display f uh, from now on. So um, what I may actually do is go up here and uh, change the display to maybe be, be, you know, quite a few less particles. That's just to speed up uh, our work in looking at them here. So the particles explode outwards, and uh, we now as apply a new material, which is material static, glow steady. So they're basically these white particles, white hot. Um, we give them a speed, which you can see is 15, with a random variation of 14. So we have a lot of variation in our, uh, our uh, speed of our particles. And it's using the center of the icon to actually blow them outwards. So you can see we've got the icon here, and the center's right in the middle. So the particles get blown outwards, you know, in this direction, basically. Um, we've got an age test when they've got a random age of between, uh, let's see, it would be 4 and 36. The particles are then sent on to the next event. Uh, we've got wind, and that, as you can see, we've got two wind uh, forces in there. And that is to do uh, the usual kind of effect that we want, which is we want this uh, large turbulence effect, and we want a smaller turbulence effect. And that's just to give us this nice wavy um, and then s smaller granular motion in our turbulence. We spawn by travel. And uh, all the spawn particles are sent over here to our trails event, and they're, they're treated in uh, the usual way. And we're just displaying these as dots. So if I press play here, you can see there go our particles blown outwards. Um, if I change this display to circles, you can see so it's just the tips of these trails here. If I turn off spawn by travel, there we go. Um, I'll just rewind and press play again. There you go. So there go our particles flying outwards. And you can see we've still got these trails. And those are the particles which have been sent on to the next event. They are actually um, now making their way back onto a new shape. And that's actually the, the text which says CG Academy. So if I press play again, you can see they blow outwards. And then you can see after a certain amount of time, all of those circles will disappear. And they're now all in the next event.